So this is the crazy that happens before we leave on every trip. Running through the house, trying to make sure we don't forget anything that's last minute. And normally we keep 90% of stuff already out in the RV, but this is just the craziness of getting frozen out of the refrigerator or food or last minute personal things. So it can be a lot. Sometimes Alvin gets a little nervous before we go on a trip. He goes to hide and we have to hunt him down. But I found him. Come here. <laughs> He's okay once he gets in there, but he doesn't much want to get in there. Look here, Alvin. Look here. You go in the camper? You go in the camper? Here we go. Go on. He's like, nope. Nope, you don't want to go. <laughs> so guys, we're coming down to the wire. We're just doing last minute things that we need to make sure are completed inside the house. That way we have no issues while we're gone. Unplug the coffee pot. I didn't do that yet. Unplug the vacuum. Yep. Set AC. Nope. You do that from your phone. I've already done it. <laughs> Trash taken out, I gotta do that. Empty cat litter, you've done that. Bleach the toilets. So there's two things that we do to our toilets before we leave for every trip. One, we turn the water off. That way we don't have to worry about the leak happening around the toilet or it just starting to run because it's done that randomly. Secondly, we put a little squirt of bleach, Clorox cleanup, something like that in the tank. It will prevent mold, especially when, you, when it sets for, you know, two or three months. One of the things that I do before we're leaving our home, you know, we go out for two, three months at a time, is turn the water off. It's quick and easy, just turn it. And uh, we're fortunate to have this installed where we can turn water off here versus doing it out by the road. But uh, it was something the contractor put in. And it's a, uh, don't forget to turn off the water because you don't want an uh, ice maker to fail and have water all over your kitchen or a bathroom to keep running and cost you tons of money. Are we the only ones, our, our cats? get a little nervous on travel day once we get going they get a little bit better and uh, once we get it out to the campsite they love it but they're always a little nervous Alvin will get towards the door or hiding his uh, carrier and Sadie just kind of hunkers down so we have to be very careful when we open the door on our first few stops because we don't want to lose those babies open it, side by side we all the colors, some we checked Gas Buddy and found out the Walmart or the Murphy Oil right near our home had the one of the cheapest gas in town, so we just rolled up here. I just followed Lynn up. She drove the RV and I drove in the tow car or Honda Fit and we just follow uh, in the tow car because it's a lot easier to pull in the gas station with, without the tow car uh, hooked up. So one of the things we always do is pull a little bit away from the pumps, especially when we're going to be turning out right because uh, the tail swing will be turning towards the pump and we don't want to hit a pump on the way out. That would not be a good start to our long summer trip. So we did start with about, not quite half a tank, so $93 is the damage, $97 is the damage. And, uh, a lot better than it was this time last year. Still not as good as it was uh, a couple years ago when we started traveling as much as we have. I want to get to your clothes, got to get it right now. I want to push all the limits with you right now. So watch your feelings, the city screaming when I'm coming home tonight. Quick in the world, gotta get it right now. Peace out.
people talk and tell what you wanna hear now But they all disappear, they will let you down So we better stick together, let's come whatever We're not coming home tonight We're living quick in the world, gotta get it right now So I made chicken salad for lunch yesterday, or actually, yesterday I made chicken salad for lunch today, so that when we stop on our trip, we wouldn't have to worry about what we were going to eat. So seeing part of Route 66 was not part of this planned trip, however, you know, when you're out traveling, sometimes you just gotta stop and see things. Don't pass it by just because it's not part of what you've got planned. Sometimes those are the best things you find. So we, we've always loved Route 66. Uh, if you have not watched that series, we have a series from a couple years back where we traveled Route 66 from Oklahoma City to California. Uh, just a unique part of American history. Uh, and Hamill uh, has two original things across the street, which was uh, the Tourist Haven restaurant, which is now Wheezy's Route 66. And down the road, don't know if we'll get to it or not, but the uh, Church of the Neon Cross, the cross is outlined in neon, and was just a beacon in the night for a lot of the travelers that would come by and see it. We're also at the uh, Route 66 Creamery, which has been built since, obviously, but a uh, great tribute to that time of American history. Our next tip, if you travel with your spouse, make sure both of you know how to drive your rig. Because sometimes life happens and you'll need the other person to drive. And make sure you stay tuned to the end where you'll see Lynn make a tight, tight hairpin turn just to make it to our gravel pad. Great news about this Boondockers Welcome, we got 50 amp and water. So next week we're going to explore St. Louis, Missouri. And then after that we're headed on up to Glacier National Park with all the things we see on the way. So hit that subscribe button if you'd like to join us. We sure love to have you. Until next time, God bless and many safe travels. And go RV America.